Hello everyone, welcome to Chirag SQL Server DBA tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn SQL Server Vulnerabilities Assessment. So how we'll do the SS SQL Server Vulnerabilities in SQL Server Management Studio? SQL Server Vulnerabilities Assessment tool is available in SQL Server Management Studio for SQL Server 2012 or later. SQL Server Vulnerability Assessment is easy to configure service that can be discovered, track and help the remediate potential database vulnerabilities. Use it to improve your database security. So open your SQL Server Management Studio. So first, what is the SQL Server Vulnerability Assessment? SQL Server Vulnerability Assessment is the service that provides visibility into your security state. Vulnerability Assessment includes actionable step or resolve security issues and enhance your database security. It can help you to monitor a dynamic database environment where changes are difficult to track and improve a SQL security posture. So Vulnerability Assessment is the scanning service built onto the Azure SQL database and uh, thus employ a knowledge base of the rule that flags security vulnerability. It highlights derivations from best practice such as the misconfiguration, excessive permissions and the unprotected sensitive data. The rule are based on the Microsoft best practice and focus on the security issues that present the biggest risk of your database it vulnerable data. They cover database levels issues and server level security issues like server firewall setting and server level permission. Result of the scan include actionable steps to resolve each issue and provide customized recommendations script where applicable. You can customize an assessment report for your environment by setting an acceptable, acceptable baseline for permission uh, configurations, feature configuration, database settings. Let me open SQL Server Management Studio. Just connect with your database. So I'm just connecting with the, my database local. So I connected with my local database and I'm just running the process. SQL Server uh, uh, Vulnerabilities Assessment. So right click on your database, go to the task. There is a vulnerability assessment and go to the scan for vulnerabilities. Just click on the scan for vulnerabilities. You will get a pop-up window. There is a left side your page. There is a server connection, connection details, view connection properties if you want. And there is a report location where it will be saved. You can browse and you can change. Click on OK. If you don't want to change the location, click on OK. So I got the vulnerabilities if you want then you can export to the excel and you can see on that there is a total filing checks is six these are the high three are high three are medium in later on videos i'll show how to just resolve the issue so now i'm not uh, in this video i'm not going to resolve this i'll go through the whatever the security checks files and there is a pass, total pass checks. If you go there, you can be able to see these are the path. And if you click, then you will get the, all the information about particular security. Now go through the fields. So remediate uh, vulnerability. When a vulnerability is can complete, the report display in the in your SQL Server Management Studio. The report present a view of your to, uh, your security state. The number of issues where that were found. A summary of the survey of your risk list of the findings and further investigation. So all the things you will get it here. Now. I'll go the remediate the vulnerabilities discovered. 
review a result and determine which of the report finding are the true security issue of your environment i have a six total six three are in high in risk category authentication and authorization authentication and authorization there is a data protection and action and login data protection surface area protection this is the category additional information this is a risk type <coughs> this is a security check <coughs> next select each failed report to understand the impact and why the security check failed just click on one which one you want to there is your option is add uh, approve as a baseline and clear baseline later on you will see on that now there is a name of the minimal whatever the name it will show there risk is high strategy fail no baseline set and there is a description as well sort of provide role to help the manage the permission roles are security principle that groups are principal database level roles are database wide and their permission scope this rule checks that a minimal set of principal are member of the fixed database role impact what will be impact of that so fixed database role may uh, administrative permission on the system following the principal list privilege it's important to minimize the membership fixed database role and keep the baseline of this membership so there is a list also you can go through that and read why this security fail and there is a query we can run this one and actual result the principal db owner so uh, these are the baseline so i created too many users and other things so and there is a remediation script so we can run this script and it, it will somehow uh, clear my impact so later on video i'll just go through that so in this video we have learned how to find the sql server vulnerability assessment and how we'll get the report and the re review uh, acceptable baseline how to remark and how we change this thing i'll do it the another video with that so hope this will help thank you for watching